the Negril Regional Medical Hospital. I'm the president of the company wherein we are building a hospital in Jamaica, in Negril. We're starting first with 125 beds and to launch it into something much more uh, beautiful for the Jamaican people. Um, we will have 50 acres of land, we'll have a heliport to be able to bring patients from Montego Bay, Kinston, and the other parishes into uh, uh, our new hospital. We'll have the beach, we'll have uh, uh, facilities to accommodate the elderly, um, different operations to accommodate people from the United States, Mexico, Europe, Canada, all in the acts of providing fantastic medical service on the island of Jamaica. Now Bill, tell me, why was it important to bring such a facility to Jamaica? Well, the way the medical system is set up now, many people are going to India in particular, Hong Kong, uh, Dominican Republic, instead of Jamaica. Jamaica is approximately less than three hours away from New York and a few hours from Miami, Florida. We have the great climate, great professionals, medical scientists who can work with the world in regards to medical practice. And I think we, we can lead the forefront, just like how we have led in tourism, we can also lead it with medical, a good medical practice. We have one of the greatest scientists in Jamaica, Dr. Winston Mendes Davidson. He's in charge, he was invented the entire concept of medical tour, of um, telemedicine in which he's on our board and is working very closely with us. So we're using his, uh, uh, his methods or his philosophical idea in regards to medical, uh, a new hospital that we're building there in the grill. Okay. Now how, this, how is this going to be beneficial to the people of Jamaica, people who live there or abroad? Jamaicans are leaders in many areas. Uh, most recently, we led the world in track. Three years ago, we produced Marcus Yavi, Bob Marley. Jamaican are leaders. We, our secretary a few years ago was uh, secretary for uh, the Catholic Church. And, and we, you know, we have had many areas of leadership in which Jamaicans have t taken the lead. Pepsi-Cola, um, pharmaceutical companies. So Jamaica now have an opportunity to lead the world when it comes to medical practice. And we have the scientists, Jamaican scientists to work with us and the Jamaican people who benefit greatly. Jobs, tourism, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial ideology, creations uh, from using their creativity to provide back to the Jamaican community and also to the world. Contribute to your foundation. We would like for anyone who would like to see exactly what we're doing to go on the web. It's called negrillhospital.org. Negrillhospital.org. To go on the web and you can see exactly what we are about and what we're doing. Google my name, Bill Tingling, and you'll see exactly what we are, what we are planning to do in Jamaica in regards to the hospital we're building. We have been getting much cooperation from the world, the United Nations, Great Britain, the Canadians, uh, the Bahamians, uh, Bermudans, and more so our Jamaican citizens. So this event we're having here tonight is another act of saying that thank you to the Jamaican leaders, the Jamaican government, the Jamaican citizens for exactly what you're doing for us in regards to the building of this new hospital. Is there anyone you want to say what's up to? Yeah, well, first of all, let me just say we have a visionary, and the visionary is a person, and that is our chairman, Mr. Winston Wellington. He's a person who's leading, or, or somehow created this idea and was able to plant the seed, and we are working with this. So we want to thank all the Jamaicans who, are, who, who would benefit from this and who also will be working with this, and we need your help. We need your time, we need your effort, we need your ideas, so please get on the web, negrillhospital.org, and reach out to us. Share your ideas with us.